Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps on how you can use a video game controller that's plugged in with USB to use it in your Tesla vehicle. And this is particularly nice with these newer Xbox controllers, because since they use low powered Bluetooth, they're not compatible to pair over Bluetooth. So we're going to plug them in using the USB port that is in the glove box. So to do this, we're going to open up our menu, clicking on the icon of the car in the bottom left hand corner. In our controls, we're going to click on glove box to open that up. Now, since there's only one USB port in the glove box, you'd have to unplug your USB stick, which is what you use to store Sentry Mode video, and then you could plug in your controller at that point in time. Or you can get one of these USB port expanders. I got this one on AliExpress, and it turns that one USB port into three USB Type-A and one USB Type-C. So I can have my Sentry Mode USB stick plugged in at the same time that I also have a video game controller. So I'm gonna plug in my video game controller to this and then plug this into our glove box. And as soon as it's plugged in, the light of the controller turns on. That signifies that it's ready to go. So I'm gonna open up a game, clicking on the three horizontal dots here at the bottom, opening up our menu and then clicking on arcade. And many of these games are compatible with a video game controller. So I'm gonna do Vampire Survivors and we can see the controller is working right away. We can go through the menu, we can click start. And once you're in game, you can see that everything is working properly, moving the joystick around. Now to wrap up this video, I'm going to go over to our Bluetooth settings so you can see what that looks like if you're trying to pair a Bluetooth controller. We can do that by opening up our menu by clicking on the icon of the car in the bottom left hand corner. Then we can click on the Bluetooth icon in the upper right hand corner. And if you'd like to try to pair a Bluetooth controller that's compatible, you can click add new device and then start the search. Now you need to have your controller in pairing mode for it to show up in this instance. But like I said, these newer Xbox controllers, they're not compatible, so it's not gonna show up in this list. These newer controllers use low powered Bluetooth, which are not picked up by the Bluetooth settings. I have had success pairing older Xbox controllers or Nintendo Switch Pro controllers, for instance, through Bluetooth. But since this one doesn't work pairing over Bluetooth, we can always use the wired option and connect it through a USB, which is nice. So I hope this video was helpful going over how you can set up a video game controller in your Tesla vehicle with a USB connection, hooking it up through the glove box USB port. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I'll see you back here next time.